Mississippi State published a study this week showing that their research has played a major role in increasing area catfish farming productivity over the last 10 years. Pretty interesting stuff. Nationwide, the catfish industry has contract contracted nearly 70 percent, but it remains a major economic driver in Mississippi. Our Stephen Pempo talked with an agri aquaculture specialist, pardon me, from MSU today about their research. He joins us in the studio with that story tonight. Stephen. Yeah, Andrea, I just discovered the word aquaculture myself today, uh, and it's according to Mississippi State's Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Aquaculture that the catfish industry generated nearly $2 billion for the Alabama, Arkansas, and Mississippi economies in 2019. Plenty of the credit for that is due to the years of research by scientists at Mississippi State. It's no secret that the catfish industry is a major part of life in Mississippi. Being both a major processor, major grower, ma major manufacturer of equipment. The Magnolia State leads the nation in annual catfish production. So it's no surprise that Mississippi State is also helping to lead the way when it comes to aiding its catfish farmers. According to a recent study from the school, Research efforts at MSU, along with several other colleges, have led to a nearly 60% increase in catfish production in Mississippi, Alabama, and Arkansas during the last 10 years. A look at the economic impact of catfish in the region, and also to, to kind of look at how these new technologies are being adopted. Dr. Jimmy Avery, MSU Extension Aquaculture Specialist and Director of the Southern Regional Aquaculture Center, says their advances in catfish farming fall into three major categories. Improved production systems, like the split pond. All our fish were more, con more confined in this area, so it made them easier to feed. It made it easier for us to provide oxygen for them at night, and it also made it easier for us to harvest them. An improved strain of hybrid catfish, which scientists at Auburn University created. What our scientists were able to do was to develop that into a commercial, vi commercially viable enterprise and go out and work with farmers to say, hey, look, this is how you make this hybrid. And better fish health. We've got a uh, new uh, a vaccine out there for enteric septicemia of catfish. It also gives us protection from a couple of other diseases. Dr. Avery says the impact of this research is improving the lives of catfish farmers nationwide. By adopting these new technologies with fewer acres, we're able to produce roughly the same amount of fish we have uh, each year over the last 10 years. Dr. Avery says that their relationship with area catfish farmers is ongoing and members of his team constantly go back to those farmers anytime they find a better way to grow and maintain their fish.